You thought moving your shared logic into NuGet package was a good move? Well, you are right, but with great packages comes great responsibilities. One of these responsibilities is to test your packages before pushing it to the NuGet server. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own local NuGet server and how to push packages to it easily. So let's start with the code. For this demo, I'm going to use one of the existing packages that I have already, which is AutoBuilder. AutoBuilder is a code generator where I'm using an attribute called AutoBuilder. And if we have this attribute on top of a class, we create automatic builder class using this code here. Simply if we go, let's say I have a class called person. If I add AutoBuilder, I can go to the program.cs and create a builder bar builder equal new person builder you know here it is automatically now created i can start with with id one with name muhammad and so on and i also have an option to have a nested builder on top of the builder so i have a salary here with attribute auto builder so i can go to here and say salary dot with amount let's say 1000 or something okay and also the builder the automatic generated builder it has an implicit operator to cast the builder into a person as well as creating a builder class builder instance using a person object so the way i'm referring my builder project in my client project is simply with a project reference including the cs project and you need to add output item type equal to analyzer so you can make it work but i don't want to do that anymore i want to push my auto builder to NuGet and start using it as a NuGet package make sure to subscribe like the video and consider joining my mailing list it is in the description below so if i need to create a NuGet package in a normal behavior i need first to build pack and then push to the NuGet server it could be NuGet.org public server for my NuGet package and once I push, I need to wait for it to be validated. And then once that is complete, I can start moving here and test the package by adding it from the NuGet server. Or maybe I'm pushing my package into my organization NuGet feed. And we have, as an organization, some rules. We need to create a PR, have a reviewer, merge the PR, run the automated build. And then we push the package and I can use it. But it could be a wrong package that I need to test and I st still not be ready to actually push it as a release package. So for that, we need to create our own local NuGet server that we can use the same way as we use our NuGet server, our public NuGet server, but using our local file system. So we can pack, push, use, test, and then once everything is done, we can move to the production NuGet server. So for that, let's jump into the terminal. So this is my terminal here. The first thing, let's go and check how many sources do we have in our NuGet feed. So to do that, .NET NuGet list source. You notice here, we have one registered source, which is NuGet.org. If you are using your organization NuGet feed, you will see it here as well because you already add that. So to create our first NuGet server, which is on the local system, you simply do .NET NuGet add source and you specify the path. So I'm saving my packages here in this folder and you specify the name. I'm going to name it local. Enter. Now, if we do the source list, you'll see we have a new one, which is local. If you go back to a uh, rider in my example, you can do the same in Visual Studio, go to new get, and then you get .config file, you will notice that we have now a new package source, which is local and the value here. You can create a new source by adding a new key here, new add attribute here. Same thing, but I prefer doing it from the terminal using the .NET command. Okay, go back to the terminal now. Let's try to build and pack our package. So I'm inside the folder, the project auto builder, which is this one. I can do .NET pack 
And here, I'm going to specify the configuration to be released, and I'm going to create that package to be created on the root folder, just for simplicity. Notice here, we successfully created the package autobuilder 1.0.0. This is the file that we need to push. So one option is go to the folder, copy that numpic file, and copy it to the folder NuGet local here. It does work, but let's try to do the same thing that we can do with any NuGet server, which is pushing the package. And to push, let's copy this, we do .NET, NuGet, push, specify the package name, and then the source name, which is, in our case, local. Now, notice here, pushing auto builder, your package was pushed. And to test that, let's go to NuGet, packages, and let's search for auto builder. Notice here, we have all feeds enabled, we have local, and there is auto builder, which is from the local server. Let me remove NuGet.org and keep, yeah, this is the one. There is definitely auto builder packages out there and we, we have on NuGet.org, so that's why it's incorrect. But if you select only the feed, which is local, you can see auto builder here and we can simply add it to the client project. Let's install the package, nice. And let's go back to the reference here and remove the file reference. So we are now using the package autobuilder from NuGet as a package. And if we build a project, so the package is not working. And the reason is it's a missing configuration in the builder here. So I need to add this attribute here where I'm specifying that this DLL is part of the analyzer and should be packable. And then I added a version and I'm going to push the version 0.0.1. And then in my client, I can simply specify 0.0.1 as a package. And if we build, you can see that we have now automatic generator of the person builder here. So the good thing is that we can easily fix any issue. Let's say now I need to add a new attribute. Let's say it's not only an issue, I'm testing and yeah, let's add a new attribute called auto builder ignore two. And then I need to push that to test it if it's working. I simply go back to the CS proj here. I can increment the package and in my terminal, I can pack again. It will create 0.0.2. I can push. So let's push 0.0.2. Once it's pushed to my local server, I can go back here to new get, and I can see if I'm selecting the local feed, I can see that I still have, yeah, I have the 1.0, I didn't remove that, but you can simply remove it by deleting the file and you have 0.0.2, I can upgrade to it. And now I can go to the person class, maybe I can include the auto builder ignore too so i can see the changes without waiting all the time to the package should be released actually to the NuGet server and there you have it like i said it's very easy to create and push packages to your local NuGet server click here if you want to learn more about NuGet packages and here if you want to learn more about source generator